Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, I am ready. Canadian Space Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is the Canadian Space Agency. How do you hear me? Loud and clear, how do you hear me? We hear you loud and clear. Switch to me. Am I supposed to do the switch? Go ahead, David. We are ready for you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Ministers, industry members, friends of the CSA. Bonjour à tous. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here with you today. I'm privileged to take part in today's historic announcement from here aboard the International Space Station. We just passed over Hawaii, and in a couple minutes, we'll be over Vancouver. It really gives you another perspective. 20 years ago, we started building the station module by module. It took more than 10 years, and Canada Arm uh, have played a central role. And 16 countries have collaborated. It really requires working together. The ISS, my home right now, is an example of what humanity can do when you go beyond and you work together in peace for the benefit of all. And today, with my colleagues, uh, with my colleagues of uh, the United States and Russian. I have trained with people from the uh, world. And where you work is not as important as the objective that you have, the exploration and going beyond knowledge. And our diversity is actually making us stronger and go beyond everything. And we are the next chapter of space exploration. And I am also thrilled that we and generations of Canadians to come 
will continue to have access to orbiting laboratories to further our understanding of the world and the universe beyond. Here on ISS, we've been learning, gaining experience. Now, building on what we've learned, we're getting ready to take the next step. Gateway will be an outpost where humans can live in lunar orbit, where we will learn to work even more autonomously from Mother Earth than we have been doing so far. Je marche dans les pas de géants. I step in giant steps. I'm walking in giant steps. And uh, there's been 16 space missions. And every day, I strive to represent us all as best as I can. Even if I trained for years, I wasn't ready for the weightlessness uh, feeling. I had to learn how to fly. I couldn't plan that the views from Earth, from space, would touch me so much with the blue halo. We see that it's the only livable space uh, place that we have. It's the uh, space vessel for humanity. I'm very happy that Jenny, Jeremy, and Josh, and for uh, the engineers, people, uh, specialized uh, people working in the uh, space world. we increase our knowledge of our planet and the universe, we will advance research that leads to breakthrough science in areas that benefit people on Earth, like healthcare, and give rise to technologies that do not yet exist. But I am most excited for our kids. Today's announcement is a clear message to the next generation of Canadian explorers, future geologists, engineers, astronauts. Canada is inviting you to dream big. Thank you for giving me the chance to make history with you today, all the way from space. Thank you, David, for your uh, speech. And like you said, we are moving to the next step. And thank you, Prime Minister, for your announcements and your leadership in this uh, project. It's a, it's a very special occasion to celebrate today. To everyone here who worked so hard to make today's downlink happen and who made this wonderful event possible. I'm inviting uh, the Prime Minister and my colleagues and my friends astronauts to come onto the stage for a picture. Thank you. Station. This is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. And thank you to the Canadian Space Agency and participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.